I love this framing job. But, uh, it's, a, it's a little out of square there, and uh, I didn't do this framing job. I, I inherited it. I'm not saying that I do any better work. I just anyway, it's interesting and fun to make a door for it. It's going to be kind of a a hobbit door, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Some folks is wider at the bottom than they is at the top. You know. Anyway, I got a kick out. Okay. Demo crew is here to do. And this is because of the silent social credit score system slash geofence that actively targeted and recently while actively get killed through microwave weapon attacks. <laughs> Looks like strokes are going to cancer. Nobody has questions. And while this has been going on for many years, it's now to the point where it's potentially automated. Why? The cellular phone network just follows you around wherever you go. It's like when you're driving on the highway making a call, just going from tower to tower. And the reforming technology is really... <laughs> square corner on it but it fits real good and out the door we go into the future so there Tinkerbell bumpy dumpins what do you think about that honey I'm gonna close you in here watch this here It's not square, but uh, it's hard to see, you know, too much. Anyway, um, the plan is to put a piece of plexiglass into the door. So, the outside, outside of the door has the wood planks, and the inside of the door has the plywood. Real nice plywood, my brother. Long story. Anyway, they're uh, I've set the depth on my saw to where it should only cut through the plywood, is the plan, and uh, tightened it very securely. And uh, Try and 
cut it and chisel it out. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I don't destroy this beautiful door. It really came out nice. So I gotta be careful.
calculations. That is cut at least mostly all the way through. This will be where the window is going to be. Which, let me get my chisel and my hammer and we'll see if we can get this piece out of here. And not make too bad of a show over here. Everything else corrupt, there's nothing left to trust, and that includes me. I 
I've been on the self-destruction there. Everything felt like a threat, had a plan to vanish, like a Machiavellian death, and then pop up like a book. You thought I was dead, we'll get your memory checked, like the Mandela effect. I'm back, like Jack and Sean. It's a brand new horizon. Rappers are just battling a bunch of yapping and jiving. And I heard they give blood sacrifices. Like the assets and mines. At this point, I can't say I find it surprising. Steve, by keeping my faith in the plans of the highest, I'm on point like pie. With a balance, I lost the line. Cause the master designed his hands. Free with the storm in the sky. From the land of the line. And I'm damned if I'm lying. Failure after failure. Damn it, I'm trying. My ass is hit up feeling guilty. I'm wilted. Like a plant when it's dying. And fall. This is a city of calling, I'm held in the fire until the end of the sock. It's a roller coaster in this ocean of emotions. I'm just trying to keep my head above water. I've got to look at you, I'm struggling. I've been on the road, but there's so much smoke in my lungs. I'm struggling. Forget all the fun, I just want to become comfortably numb. I'm struggling. It's the call before the storm. Hey, hey. Help me, Father. The tide is rising. The flood is falling. I'm just trying to keep my head above water. Head above water. Figure out how to trim it in once I get the plexiglass in there. Mm, better not count my chickens for the hatch. Out of the anyway, this is the way it goes most of the time. didn't film a whole bunch of the door making process. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. I don't know. But I assume a lot. <laughs> I assume me. Okay. I'm going to get the So put a threshold in, and it looks like it's a little high on one side, so I'm going to have to do uh, some uh, some fancy sanding on the bottom to make sure it clears that threshold. <clears throat> it's looking really good though. I've got to cut this plexiglass and get it in there, trim it in. Probably do a little sanding. And put it back up and see what it looks like with a window in it. <laughs> uh, gotta see. Plywood makes a hell of a good door, but <laughs> expensive. This has been a this door would have cost a lot, but it's a small just custom fit door, so what can you say? But it's nice and heavy. You'd have a harder time busting through this door than you would a lot of doors. Anyway, okay. Thanks for watching. 
Okay. Well, we've uh, got a door. Got a nice window in it. Come out real nice. Um, it's very tight. Everything about it's very tight. Uh, I can't really. Then uh, now I got a back door, and I got a thing here. It's all going to everything's looking really good. Getting ready to start the, the greenhouse portion of this pretty quick. Okay. Okay. It's done now. We've got a kitty door. It's it's still drawing. <laughs> that turned into a, a deal. Uh, I messed up the hole. I thought I was going to have to make a bigger kitty door. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, it looks okay and it's fine. And um, it's going to be great because the greenhouse is going to be on the other side of this. See here now. Now it's working like it's supposed to. You know, hopefully that it's going to be temperate inside the greenhouse, and uh, I'll be able to keep this door open all the time. And I understand that greenhouse stuff is really rugged, like you can't get through it with a sledgehammer. And uh, so as long as the door is secure, I'll be able to keep this door open and uh, share air with my greenhouse. Let's see. See, it's really shutting nice now. Got a window in it. Isn't that just charming? Already got starts for the greenhouse. This is going to be the plant bed there. And, um, it's coming along pretty good. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right.